Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is stereographic projection. Complex number can also be represented by points on a sphere. In fact, we shall establish a one-one correspondence between the points on a sphere and the points on a plane. The method for mapping the plane on the sphere is called stereographic projection. This is the Riemann sphere and V is the vertex of the projection. A is any point of sphere and A dash is unique, unique point. Analytically, we may proceed as follows. With reference to a system, system a rectangular coordinate axis O X O Y and O Z, where O is the center of the sphere, let the equation of the sphere analytically sphere be x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1. So the vertex V of projection projection has the coordinate 0, 0, 1. Let x, y, z be the coordinates of any point A on the sphere and let x, y, 0 be the coordinate of the corresponding point A dash on the line where V A meets. Okay, you see the straight line in my diagram Riemann sphere V is the vertex point A is so V A meet the plane of the projections. Okay, that point is A dash A dash point. Okay, so A dash point I have to find out the coordinate of A dash. Okay, x y. So how can I find out? Three points V zero comma zero one A equal to x comma y comma z and A dash is equal to x comma y comma 0 are in the same straight line because you see the diagram please <coughs> please note please write the diagram please pause my videos okay this is not possible to 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 go to show the, the diagram again okay so please write everything okay and you see that v a a dash is one straight line so straight line equation how can i draw x minus 0 y minus 0 z minus 1 okay and direction ratios x minus 0 y minus 0 0 comma minus 1 simple facts and i get this value this gives x is equal to x into 1 minus z y equal to y minus 1 j z and z equals to x plus i y x plus i y 1 minus z so x square plus y square is equal to x square plus y square so that we get 1 plus x square plus y square equal to 1 plus capital X square plus capital Y square and I get after calculating 2 minus 2z because 1 plus x square plus z square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So 2 into 2 minus z and 1, 2 I take common 2 I get 1 minus z. So 1 minus z will be cut. So I get 1 minus z. So 1 by 1 minus z. So I get 1 plus x square plus y square 2 divided by 1 minus z. 1 minus z equals to 2 divided by 1 plus x square plus y square. And x equal to x divided by 1 minus z, y equal to y by 1 minus z, and z equals to this value. And I get So j equals to 1 minus 2 divided by x square plus y square x square plus y square minus 1. So I get z plus x value is equal to z plus z bar because we know x divided by 2 a, 2x divided by 1 plus x square plus y square is equal to capital X. So z plus z bar is equal to is equal to 2x. 1 plus z bar whole square and 2y means z minus z bar divided by i. 
and mod z is equal to x square plus y square. This is my capital XY and z equals to capital z equals to in terms of this way mod of z whole square minus 1 plus mod of z whole square plus 1. Where z equals to x plus y and x minus y. This is the and v is equal to 0, 0, 0,01 point at infinity. And point at infinity. Okay. So these relations we see for uh, establish one, one, one to one correspondence between the complex numbers and points on the spherical surface, except that no point of the complex plane corresponds to the vertex V0,01. And the correspondence is complicated by defining the point at infinity and letting the point at infinity corresponds 0, 0,01 point at infinity. So it is it can be it can be written as z by 1 by z dash. Again, if the point x comma y comma z corresponds to the point of affix z, then the x comma y comma z correspondence the affix z dash. Where I get z dash equal to x plus i y equal to 1 by z. Okay, this is the proof. Because x plus i y divided by 1 plus z, I have already proved. Okay, friends. And I use this and I get x square plus y square and 1 by z and x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 1 and mod of z of mod of z dash is equal to 1. So argument z and argument z bar is equal to argument 1 by z argument 1 z dash. Z and z dash are the inverse points with respect to the unit circle with so center at the origin. Therefore, the points of the argon plane which are inverse points with respect to the circle mod j equals to 1 corresponds to points of the Riemann sphere with the symmetrical with the plane j equals to 0, capital Z equals to 0, when small z equals to 0 and x capital X equals to 0 and y equals to 0 and z equals to minus 1 and z dash is the point at infinity. By definition, which therefore corresponds to the point 0, 0, 0,01. We shall usually use the symbol infinity to represent infinity and its relations of finite numbers is established. A plus infinity is equal to infinity. B dot infinity equals to infinity and where B does not equals to 0. And infinity minus infinity and 0 to infinity remain undefined and the points in the complex plane together with the point of infinity from the extended complex plane denoted by c infinity and c star we agree that every straight line will pass through the point at infinity we also see that the hemisphere mod z less than zero correspond to the circle mod z less than 0 and hemisphere mod z, z greater than 0 and outside mod z greater than 1. We refer to the sphere discussed above as Riemann sphere. So friends, I hope you can understand and you can, I can clear this total concept. Thanks for watching.